Hey, it's Joel, the 3D printing nerd, and you're here in my office for an unboxing. The reason we're in my office is because it's cold. It is below 50 degrees in my garage, and that's just too cold for me. But I have something to unbox. This, this lovely, lovely box, it is ah, an Ultimaker 3. That's right, we're gonna unbox and try to get a first print off of an Ultimaker 3. Ultimaker was kind enough to send this to me. I at least owe them an unboxing a few prints, a review video, and uh, I'll treat it nicely. So I guess we should probably do this. You ready? Go. Ah, welcome back. Again, it's Joel, it's the 3D printing nerd, and this Ultimaker 3 is about to be exhumed from its cardboard prison. I do have my trusty, trusty knife. I'm gonna make the first incision. Ooh, all right, right off the bat, I can tell Ultimaker makes some quality tape. Or at least they use quality tape. They don't make tape. Silly. All right, flap one is open. Flap two is open. And welcome to your new Ultimaker. Let's see if I can, look at that. Look at that. And there, there is an Ultimaker app to download. I know that in this unboxing, I'm, the goal isn't to use the app right away, but believe me, according to uh, Sean Charlesworth of Seaworth Dynamics, uh, he did say I should start a print from bed. I don't think that is a bad idea whatsoever. Oh, now we're getting into the box. Okay, first, there's some spools. It looks like we've got Ultimaker PLA. It's a gray and uh, it is 2.85 millimeters, 350 grams, and silver. This is Ultimaker PVA, polyvinyl alcohol, 2.85 millimeter, 350 grams. There we go, we got some, some spools. We've got a US power cord, that's important. Um, this says test print Test print made with this specific Ultimaker. Oh, interesting. Okay. Oh, it's it is a dual color print. This is their little little test print, and uh, wow, it looks it looks good. Ooh, and look at this a giant accessory box. Let's see what's inside of this. The Ultimaker Quick Start Guide. I'm gonna read this before. I do anything. Uh, some marketing materials. It looks like, oh, this is calibrating uh, the XY offset. That's handy. Calibration card, some the glass for the Ultimaker, the, the print head, some Uhu glue. All right, there's a lot of stuff in this box and we'll get to that as soon as we get the rest of it out of the box. All right, here we go. I will set the cardboard aside like a human that cares. Ooh, this is a big one. And the styrofoam goes there. Oh, look at that. Look at that. Ha <laughs> ha. She's so pretty. All right. I'll put this right here. And there is nothing left in the box. The box will go right here. Ooh. All right, we've got the Ultimaker out of the box. We got the box out of the box and we got the spools of filament out of the box. Now let's switch up the camera angles and get you a little bit closer. I did go ahead and pre-plug this, the US power plug into the UPS right there because I figured that was just something that needed to be done and you probably didn't need to see that. Um, and here is the calibration sheet, some marketing material. It looks like the quick start guide. That's good. This is the wondrous build plate and it's sealed well in some plastic. And it also has some hard plastic corners to protect the glass. Uh, that's, that's a good touch. We'll call that, that is a nice, a nice to have right there. 
I'm gonna get my grimy paws all over this glass to make sure nothing sticks to it. Put the garbage down there. Uh, Old Tea Maker does provide a calibration card and then it asks if I need help. Always, here are the print cores, I think is what they call them, the print cores. There we go. That's pretty cool. This is the RJ45 networking cable. This is a spool holder. Oh, uh, this, uh, this is the injection molded spool holder. If you remember when these first came out, Ultimaker uh, didn't have these ready. And so they were 3D printing them because it has the RF antenna in it. So this is uh, ready. This is a, a, an injection molded piece of plastic. Both of these things. Magnalube. And a new who stick. Unilube. Magnalube. And I've got Unilube. Small driver. There is a very, very small USB stick. Now that we've got the printer out of the box and, and, and now that we're, we're ready to do some more stuff, this quick start guide says the next thing we need to do is install the spool holder. Let's do that. Let's see, it says, gently place the printer on its side. You guys, aha. Look at that. You guys get to see the underside of an Ultimaker 3. It's amazing. Gently place the printer on its side, insert the spool holder into the back panel and push it in until it snaps. That I can do. It's in, that's good. Uh, connect the cable of the spool holder to the NFC socket. There we go. Let's hope that doesn't rattle while we print. Cable cover, open the front clamps, and now we get to put in some glass. Slide the glass in. Since I have another Ultimaker, this card is awfully familiar to me. Okay. Okay. Okay, at this point it wants me to connect up the power to the Ultimaker, but at no point in the quick start guide, this one at least, it's told me to undo these zip ties or this, this tape around the extruder assembly. Uh, I'm gonna do that. I think I'm gonna do that. Luckily, flush cutters. Tape is off. Now it's time to plug in the power. All right, that's locked in. Excellent. Turn the power switch on. Here we go. Made a noise. It says Ultimaker on the front. That's a very good sign. It still says Ultimaker on the front. It still says Ultimaker on the front. No, I won't say it again. Uh, I think it's booting up, maybe. I heard a, a click click. Ooh, and that flashed. Uh, let's see, to connect to Wi-Fi, please have a computer or smartphone near your printer during setup. Welcome, in just a few steps, we will help you set up your new Ultimaker. Let us start by inserting the print cores. Carefully open the print head fan bracket. That's that bad boy right there. Confirm. AA.04, print core detected in print head slot one. That's good. Let's see, let's get this print core in there. I just gotta figure out how to put it in there. <laughs> oh, it snaps in, snaps in, snaps in, snaps in, okay. The next step is to load the printer with materials. Remove, or we will start with the material for print core two. It's moving the print head again. Place the new spool on the spool holder. Okay, it wants the PVA. All right, this is just gonna load material. You've seen this before in an Ultimaker, so uh, we'll come back when they're both loaded. Ah, there we go. I've got the filaments loaded, everything's good. It wants to connect the printer up to Wi-Fi. It creates its own hotspot. And then what you do, using the Wi-Fi on your phone, you connect to that and then I believe you use the Ultimaker app. Let's see what it says. Hey, look at that. This is the Ultimaker's uh, Wi-Fi network and it's asking me, it's just, hey, start Wi-Fi setup. This is great. Select my country, okay. It has the Netherlands listed first. USA, you, I'm kidding, I'm totally kidding. 
Name my ulti maker. This is where it gets exciting. What am I gonna name it? I'm gonna call it the, 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 I'm gonna call it Mortimer. Mortimer. Select my Wi-Fi network. How about that one? Enter the password. I'm not gonna tell you, but if you ever visit my house, I will give you my Wi-Fi password for the guest network. <laughs> Attempting to connect to the Wi-Fi network and I put in all the information. It says the Ultimaker itself may disappear because it has to do the network switcheroo. So it either can create a Wi-Fi hotspot or it can connect to a Wi-Fi. So it looks like it's connecting to Wi-Fi. We'll get this all connected up. It is all connected and the printer now knows it's named Mortimer. So now I can continue. I'm running the latest firmware. Thank you. I guess it phoned home for that. Well, hey, uh, they did give me that ultra tiny USB stick. Maybe, um, maybe there's something on it. Print, USB, wait, print, did I not? Is there nothing on the USB drive? No, that's impossible. Okay, uh, oh, there we go. Uh, on, this wheel is really hard to turn. I don't know if this is just my Ultimaker or if this is all of the Ultimaker 3s in general, but this wheel is legitimately hard to turn. Ugh. Print. So it's listing the USB drive there. But there's nothing on it. Print. Okay, so let's put it in just to make sure. Okay, there's uh <laughs> There's no example prints on the USB drive. Dang it. Well, let's load up the Ultimaker 3 app and maybe the example prints are in the app. Oh, and now there's a camera on the inside. Here we go, let's see if you can see this, ready? Ooh, there's a camera on the inside, so it connects up to that. Print the Ultimaker robot. Print the Ultimaker robot. Okay. Oh, look at that. It's actually right there. That's cool. Um, I can hit the print. It's got the right things. Okay, let's print that robot. Um, we'll do it normal. Uh, no support needed. A brim, sure. Look at this. A slice. Continue to upload and slice. Ah, uh, okay. So it the the phone doesn't do the slicing itself. It uploads it to a slicing server, slices it to G code, and then downloads the G code from the slicing server. Okay. The build plate is empty. I will just in case. I will put just a little bit. Oh, just a little bit. Come on. Come on, a little bit. Just a little bit, why not? Just in case. Oh, you guys probably hate me now. I don't care. I don't care, do what I want. Here we go. <laughs> okay, look at that. There's the view from the printer and there's the printer itself. So it's warming up right now. Uh, this is pretty cool. This is pretty cool. Um, I'm kind of excited for this. All right, it's just gonna heat up right now. We'll come back to it once it's all heated and printing. Hey, there we go. It, uh, it's warmed up, it leveled itself. The build plate is actually moving up and down micro, micro amounts because it does some form of auto leveling. Uh, I chose 0.1 as the layer resolution, so 0.1 millimeter, because that seemed to be its normal. Uh, it's printing with the silver PLA, it's not using any support material, so the PVA is not used in this. It's doing a brim, it was a, I think it was five perimeters for that brim, uh, but it's going, and it, it was incredibly easy to set up. Uh, I didn't have to use the extended uh, setup that the Ultimaker app offers. I used this card, and then I used the app. Um, yeah, so it says that this Ultimaker robot is gonna finish in one hour and six minutes. You can kind of see it's going right there. I don't know if this film's an automatic time lapse or not. Uh, I'll find out when the print is done. But 
honestly, uh, I can say that we've taken this old tea maker out of the box. I showed you what was in the box and I haphazardly set it up while trying to uh, look cool. I succeeded at some level, I'm sure. Here's where I succeeded. I have an old tea maker three printing right now at my desk. I'm gonna consider that cool. I'm filming this with the GoPro and um, I'm gonna conclude this unboxing and first use right now, but what I'll do is I'll let this finish, I'll get some pictures, and I'll put this video at the end if I, if I get the chance. Uh, maybe it'll be in a little, a little box right over, let's see, right there. Maybe I'll put it right there. In fact, I will. I'll put it right there. And I will have been pointing at it for like 10 seconds. 12 seconds, 15 seconds, I don't know, something crazy, but right there, okay. Well, cool. Hey, thanks for watching, I appreciate it. Thanks to everybody who joined in on the stream to watch this live. Uh, I'll put this together, obviously, and get you a proper video, um, hopefully in the next couple days. A big, a big thanks to my patrons who support me at patreon.com. Their financial support is what enables me to do some of the cool stuff that I get to do. Give it a thumbs up if you like this. Uh, leave a comment down below if you have any questions. I'll do my best to get to it. And don't forget to hug each other more often. I love you guys. As always, high five.